Hello and welcome to LCBT, um, our virtual live open event. So my name's Sophie and I'm Head of Operations at the College. Um, just want to thank you all for attending. Um, so I'd now like to, um, I'm going to take you through a presentation and there'll be a chance to ask some questions at the end. So you can either ask these verbally or you can use the chat facility um, and we will um, try and answer every question that we get through. So I'd like to introduce you to our amazing staff members here at LCBT. So we have first our CEO and principal, Christiane Cavaliere. Um, we also have Brian Hutchins, our funding director, head of safeguarding, Elaine Holt, um, and beauty curriculum manager, Sophie Carr. We also have our fabulous lecturers here today, who are Kim and Sarah, who, uh, sorry, Viv and Sarah, who teach beauty. Um, and we also have Maria, um, who do who, who hairdressing and makeup. Last but not least, we have our really friendly and helpful admissions team, Dora and Fatma, and they'll be your first point of call um, when you have your interview, so you'll get to sort of recognise their faces. Um, before I start the presentation, I'd like to hand you over to our CEO and Principal, Christiane Cavaliere. Hello, good afternoon everyone. Um, thank you very much for attending and we're delighted to welcome you to the London College of Beauty Therapy. Um, we've been operational now for, this is our 25th year, um, and we specialise in training for hair and media makeup for the beauty industry and fitness industries. And what that really means is we're completely geared up on every level to supporting you um, enter the career that you want um, to, to be in that industry, whether you want to um, set up your own salon, whether you want to be a mobile therapist, perhaps you aspire to you know, work on the cruise ship or, or work on film and television. Um, so everything is set up here um, to support you in that journey. We've got um, uh, an amazing uh, careers, a, a free job shop, um, that will pair you up with a part-time job when you're studying with us um, and also help you find a job when you finish. Um, we've got fantastic partnerships with all the leading employers. Um, and one of, you know, one of the, the good things about studying with a specialist college is, you know, I work um, with all of the, the CEOs from all of the, the beauty industry um, and, and, um, and makeup industry uh, companies. Um, and, and all the way through the college, we're all geared up to working in that industry, whether, where you're going to a, if you go to a more, um, uh, a greater a college with, with, you know, all different specialisms, you, you won't have that, that, that level of specialty operating all throughout the college. So that's one of the things I think we're, we're really proud at. Um, you know, the beauty industry and the fitness industry and, and makeup is, is really booming. Um, I and mean, we've had obviously this year has been really difficult because of, of, of COVID um, and so it's been it's been slightly different but we've been operational now um, for 25 years and um, the industry generates about 30 billion pounds um, to the UK economy it's a really really serious part of contribution to to the economy um, so you know when we talk about beauty um, and um, I don't think people realise just how how important it is to the country. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's contributes more, for example, than manufacturing. Um, so it's really serious. And um, when we've looked at previous recessions, so in times when the economy's not done so well, um, actually beauty's grown. It's called the lipstick index. And um, so there's been more growth and more jobs um, in times of recession in beauty. Um, as opposed to any other industries. So it's, it's quite a secure um, uh, um, industry to step into, um, massive potential in, in so many areas. Um, it's, you know, a lot of pe things that people don't understand about beauty is it's actually quite science-based. Um, you know, our students will do quite a lot of anatomy and physiology. Um, um, and um, when you work in beauty or makeup, you're a skilled professional. Um, you know, these qualifications are ones that you need um, to practice in industry in order to get your insurance and your life practice. Um, and um, you will be a skilled professional. Um, and, and one thing we always tell people that these are jobs for life. Um, you know, when, when, you, when you take your, your diploma in, in beauty, um, hair and media makeup, or fitness or hairdressing, those skills are really with you for life. And, and the jobs are very flexible throughout the industry. Um, in, in order to train. So, 
you know, whether you're, um, maybe you'll go through periods where you want to travel, um, and there's lots of international opportunities. Um, for example, many of our students might go on to Dubai um, and or, or travel on, on cruise ships to work um, or operate spas overseas um, or in the UK. Or you might go through periods where you want to work freelance um, or work part time. And so really it is very flexible through your working career. Um, and we've also got a lot of progression routes. So we go up to level four ourselves. Um, so we do, um, for example, in beauty, all of the advanced makeup, all of the advanced beauty. So what you're now seeing in salons, such as microneedling um, and, um, and microdermabrasion, you know, all of the advanced treatments in salons that are, are, are really quite high earners um, with high income potential. Um, we, we, we go through all of that uh, for beauty and also media makeup now goes on to level four. Um, so whether you're aspiring then to go on to university, we offer progression routes into that or, or directly into careers. Um, so, um, you know, we, we're the, the one-stop shop really if you are looking for a career in beauty, makeup or fitness um, to be able to come to us and, and to progress all the way through um, as well as do all the specialist courses. I know that, that Sophie um, is going to take you through all of that range and, and talk you through all of the presentation. Um, but um, you know we're, we're, we're very much looking forward to welcoming you here if you, if you choose to study with the London College of Beauty Therapy um, and supporting you all of the way. So I look forward to answering if your questions if you have any. Thank you. Thank you. So those of you wondering about my um, backdrop, um, this is not a set from a Halloween, this is actually one of our hairdressing rooms. So these are all the, um, the hair dummies that we model on. So I want to take you through the presentation now. So um, as Christiane said, we've been established for 25 years. We're in the heart of London, Soho, and we're the leading college um, that specialises in hair, beauty, makeup and fitness. So why qualify LCBT? So we're funded by further education. So it's absolutely free for 16 to 18s. You just pay for um, yeah. your course, uh, your kit and materials, which is up to 160 pounds. We're open all year. We don't have term breaks. Um, <laughs> normal monthly term break so we finish so you can get out the industry as soon as you finish your course we also have um, industry talks job fairs exhibitions and work experience we have our dedicated team that will take you out on um, work experience so you get to go to um, the idle home exhibition um, and paint nails and get to have a look around at the event you also have industry talks we have lots of experts in the industry that come into our college and talk about what it's like to work for their brand or what it's like to work on cruise ships for Steiner, etc. Or you might be going to Mac one day to have a masterclass. So it's really exciting to get lots of offsite events as well. We have a commercial salon um, in the building, one for hair and one for beauty. So you get to have real clients coming in, um, which really sets you up for working in the industry. Um, we have access to employers for, from all specialist beauty sectors. We've worked with employers over the 25 years that we've been established. So we have really good links into the industry. Uh, we also have a dedicated team that will guarantee you a job interview. We can't guarantee you a job, that'll be up to you, but we can definitely give you the skills um, and techniques that you need to work on your CV, interview techniques um, to help you get that job. And we can also link um, you up with the industry, industry experts. Um, also for those um, that have not achieved a four or above in English and maths, uh, we have facility um, at the college for you to retake those. Um, so you can do the GCSE or the functional skills. So you'll do that alongside your course. Okay, so as we can't be um, in the college today due to our um, current pandemic, I'm just going to give you a little virtual tour of the college. Okay, sorry, technical issue. was working a moment ago. Okay, we'll come back to um, that. So I'll go on to the courses about um, the LCBT beauty. We have the level two um, diploma. 
Level two diploma in um, beauty therapy, which includes all your manicures and pedicures, um, your waxing, your salon, and your customer care. Um, you also learn how to, um, to deal with customers, like link selling as well when you're in the salon. Uh, once you've done the um, level two, you can, we also have new, that's new to this academic year is the level two um, technical certificate in beauty therapy. So the difference with that is you will need your GCSEs four or above in English and maths. Um, and the difference between the normal level two um, and the level two technical certificate is the fact that you will have an exam at the end of it. So there's a lot of studying and um, theory involved in that as well. You'll also achieve the gel polish unit. Uh, once you've graduated from the level two, you can go on to level three beauty, which is your electrical facials um, and your uh, electrical facials for body um, and uh, body massage and facial massage. You've got your aromatherapy massage um, and you'll also learn a lot about sort of trade testing, and interview prep, because you'll be really ready for a job in the industry. Okay. So I'm going to go on to um, the makeup um, section that we offer as well. So all of our um, courses, we do the level two and the level three. And then you can also progress on to the level four, which is your um, advanced aesthetic. So you've got your microneedling um, and um, chemical peels. OK, so the LCBT makeup, we've got the level two diploma in hairstyling and media makeup. So you'll do your day, evening and special occasion makeup lash and brows treatments, um, styling, you've got your creative hairstyles, you've got your blow drying. You also do self tanning as well. Um, and the reason being we have all these different units is because then you can really have, you know, your own business, you can have, you can meet your clients demands because you can, you can um, open your own salon or you can even be a mobile um, makeup and hairstylist um, and really fulfill all their needs. We also do the level two um, technical certificate in hair and makeup as well. So that again, the difference is you're having um, an exam at the end. Um, and you also again do your brow and lash treatments, your heart, hair artistry um, and your um, creative makeup. So there's a lot more research in and developing and showcasing your designs um, for that. And you need a GCSE um, in English, not in maths. Um, And then once you go on to the um, level three technical as well. So if you want the level two technical, you can then progress on to the level three technical, which again is your um, exam at the end. Um, and you'll work more on um, body art, um, wig making, um, prosthetic pieces and, and board caps. So it's really exciting if you like doing all the special effects. Okay. I'm really sorry about the videos. I've got the tour video up on my screen if you want me to quickly show that one, Sophie. Um, and you can see um, if you can get your videos to work, but I can quickly play that, the tour. Yes, please, yeah. Got the sound, Sarah. You're on mute. I mean, Laura. Hi, I'm Christiane Cavalieri, Chief Executive and Principal of the London College Beauty Therapy. Welcome, come take a look around. We've got some amazing training facilities. We've been specialising in training in beauty, hair, makeup and fitness for over 21 years. I hope you enjoy the talk.
about the technical difficulties at the beginning there. Fabulous. Do we need to pass back to you now, Sophie? Have you managed to get yours working? No. Um, no, it's still on um, freeze. Um, do I, is that, is that one of the videos that you sent to me previously? Because I can load it up on mine. Um, no, not that one. No, okay. That's fine. We can um, move on for now and we can hopefully come back to it at the end. Okay, so I'll go on to um, the hair courses as well. So we have, um, we start on the level two diploma in women's and hair, um, hairdressing. So we have the introduction to beauty, cutting um, women's and men's hair, colouring and lightening. Um, we've also got like the art of um, dressing hair and the hair consultation. Um, shampooing and roller drying, um, got plaiting, twisting, so all different styles um, which will teach you how to be um, an, a hairdresser. And, okay, and then we have the, once you've done the level two, you can progress on to the level three. Um, so this one is, is, more, is, is more of a technical diploma, so you'll be um, doing things like the balayage, um, a lot more in-depth consultation, like bridal hair styling. Um, and alongside all these courses, we can always um, help you find part-time jobs, which really helps give you more experience in the industry. And it really helps you on your course as well, because you're actually having on-the-job training. Okay. Um, we also have um, the uniforms here that I wanted to show you. So we've got our lovely models here. We've got the, the, the girls in grey, um, they're the beauty therapy uniforms. Um, the one in the centre is the fitness um, and the ones on the end are our hair and media or hairdressing. So it's the LCBT t-shirt. You also get um, kit um, with your um, course as well. So you just have a one-off kit fee as well. You just pay at the beginning um, and that gives you all the materials um, and manuals and everything that you need for your course. Um, so I was going to show you the video, but unfortunately we have a technical hitch here. Um, so I talked a little bit about the job shop as well. So we're here on hand with a dedicated team that can help you with your CV, give you interview advice, do role play with you. Um, we also have recruitment days as well, which are really successful. We have big brands like Clarins, um, Steiner and Benefit Dermalogical that come into the college and they really trust our students as well because we've been working them for some time. So they know that they are going to be um, really well qualified and really good candidates. So obviously we will help you with that interview um, and sometimes they'll, they'll take you out. We had some recently with um, benefit, they take them out onto Oxford Street and do some um, interviews there and then. And we had a really high success rate. So, it, you know, it's quite exciting. And also sometimes when you're applying for a job, if you send your CV in, you know, you don't always get a reply, but if the actual brand is coming into you, they see you um, face to face. Um, so it's all about presentation and how you come across. So they're more likely to want to give you an interview than just seeing a CV coming through via email. Um, and financial support on ALS. So anybody that's worried about um, any learning needs, you know, we're here to support you as well. Um, and if you need any financial needs as well, we have a dedicated team that can help you for that. And if you're eligible, then we can definitely support you with that. So we have Elaine who's head of safeguarding on. So she, um, any questions um, in terms of financial support, ALS, she'll be able to help you. Um, so this was another video. Um, so if you, um, most people have Instagram and Facebook now, so if you'd like to follow us, uh, we always have really up-to-date pictures of what our students are creating in the college, um, so you can get a little insight into, into what happens in college life as well. Okay, so if anybody's got any questions that they'd like to um, go ahead with, if you, can, you can put it on the chat facility um, or you can just... Um, shout out if you have a question. We've actually had some emailed to us earlier, so I'd like to go through um, the questions now because it, 
you know, if one person's asked it, it might be other people that have um, asked the same question. Um, so the first question is, how much is the course? Um, so as I've said, it's free um, before for 16 to 18. But Dora or Fatma, would you like to ask that one from the admissions team? Would you like to answer that? Um, which particular course is um, So they haven't said which course. Um, so obviously it's, it's free to 16 to 18, but if you could just tell them a little bit about the, um, the, what the course, uh, the kit and material. Are. Oh, okay. So um, if they're under 19, of course, it's free. So the government funds that. Um, but they will have to pay for kit and material, which secures their place at the college. And we've got different prices here, but they range from, so introduction to hair and beauty, which is a level one, is 30 pounds. And most of the courses, so like level two beauty therapy is 115. Um, level two hair and media makeup is 145. And then it kind of goes up, it goes up as you advance within the levels. Um, so yeah, so it kind of fluctuates, but it depends what course you're interested in. However, you don't have to pay for the course, just the kit and material, and you get the full kit and material depending on the course, of course. So with beauty therapy, you'd get, um, all the kit materials for hair, for makeup and for nails and um, with hair and media you'd kind of get the materials that would be appropriate for that course as well. Okay great thank you and it is a, it's a one-off fee as well so you, you just pay that up front and then the rest of, we give you all the tools like so for beauty you get all your manicure tools um, etc uh, but all the products that you need to use like all the, the creams and um, we actually provide that for you to train on and all the makeup so you don't need to to buy that we also have like a lot of um links with um with brands like benefit and mac so you also when you go on like your event days then um they usually offer like um 25 to 30 percent off so it's a really good time to build up your kit so it's um it's a great way to um get a discount on um products that you need to use um for your career um, another question is how long is the course and how many days per week will it come in so maybe fat more door if you'd like to answer that as well from the admissions team. Basman, did you want to answer that? I'm not too sure, am I? So I can't get onto the video because the phone, I keep getting phone calls. Oh, we can uh, see you now. Can you see me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah hello, hi. Uh, so Sophie, what was the question? Um, so how long is the course and how many days do I need to come in for? Okay, so the courses are um, between six to eight months. Um, the vocational programs are two days a week. However, um, you can come in three days or to four days, depending on English and math. So if you don't achieve a four and above, it means that you will need to reset along with your vocational program. Mm -hmm. So you'll be so you could be in at three or four days. Yeah, it all depends on the timetable. So if you achieve four and above your grade or A to C, then you'll be in college for two days a week. And if you achieve anything below four, so if it's a one, two, or a three, then you will need to resit maths and English. Okay, great. Thanks, Fatma. So Thank the you. next question that's come through is um, I have I suffer from dyslexia. Will I get any support? Um, so Elaine, maybe you'd like to ask this answer this one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, we provide support depending upon um, any um, additional support needs that you have. What happens is, is as you first come to join the college and um, the Learning Welfare Support Officer Gail would have a meeting with you and she would discuss with you your individual needs, uh, what kind of support you'd had at school, what kind of support you need moving forward. And we will put that support in place. So, for example, it may be with dyslexia that you may need um, printouts on coloured paper. Maybe you need a coloured overlay on the computer screen. Or it may be that you need to have printouts of um, PowerPoints so that you can make notes. Um, we, we will provide that support that is tailored to your individual needs. It's really, really important, however, that if you have got any needs, you do discuss those with us so that we can make sure that we've put that support in place. Hopefully that answers your questions. Yes, I hope so. Thanks, Elaine. Um, another question that's come through is, um, and I think probably a lot of students feel this as well, it's quite daunting, you know, when you've, when you've left school, especially if you don't live in London, you have to travel in if you want to come to our college. So I'm really anxious about starting my new course. I'm worried that I won't make any friends. Um, so maybe one of the lecturers um, would like to answer that.
No, if there's anyone that would like to answer. Oh, okay. Um, so once you come in to the classroom, um. Oh, I can't hear. You. Is that you, Viv? I can't. Yeah, you can't hear me now. No. Very quiet, but. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's quite quiet. So if you just speak up a bit. Yeah. Um, meeting new friends um, is obviously a, a big thing coming into college, um, but you'll find that not only will you make, make friends in your group that you're actually in, but once you start uh, going into salon and working on clients, you'll become more confident. So you'll forget all about like being nervous. Okay. Thank you, Viv. Um, so they all, they all have a common ground as well, don't they? Everybody is passionate about beauty that comes to the college. So, um, you know, at least you have that good starting point. Um, so another question is, will you help me find a job? Um, yes, of course we will. I spoke a, a little bit about the job shop already. Uh, we have a dedicated team that will help you with your CV and interview techniques. Um, and we have lots of um, people in the industry um, that trust our students and um, want to help. Um, so, and the last question that came through is what kind of jobs um, will be available? So, I don't know if anybody, any of the other lecturers would like to answer that? Yeah, I can go ahead. Yeah, is that you, Sarah? Yeah, it's higher. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, from the beauty therapy side of things, there's lots of different like avenues that you can take. We obviously sort of always think about just being sort of a therapist in the high street salon, but you can go and sort of work in amazing spas, not only sort of in the UK, but abroad as well. I, in my sort of career as a therapist, I worked on the cruise ships, so I sort of did the retail counters, done the high street salons and the spas, so there's so many different sort of routes that you can take and an amazing opportunity to be able to sort of work all over the world as a therapist and get to sort of work in amazing places and get to meet all people from all over the world. So it's not sort of just thinking you can only work in one sort of direction, there's lots of different routes available to you. Amazing, thank you. What about um, Kim from um, Hera Media? Would you like to let them know what's, what it's like to work in the industry? Okay. So, the, hi, can you see me? Yes. Okay. Hi everyone, my name's Kim. Um, I'm a level two and three Hera Media lecturer. I also um, teach and um, is qualified in hairdressing and beauty therapy up to level three. Um, it's a brilliant idea to go into the hair and beauty industry because there's so many transferable skills and qualifications. You could start off as a hairdresser and end up as a beauty therapist. You could start off as a hair and media makeup artist and end up as a hairdresser and a beauty therapist, as well as a trainer and a teacher. Um, it is an amazing um, career to have. Um, you can have an outstanding achievement. You can have um, also great earnings. You can work for yourself. You can work on cruise ships. You can travel the world as a makeup artist. You can create even your own brand, become Instagram famous. Um, there's so many opportunities um, out there. Um, I'll just share a story that um, happened at LCBT. One of our learners on a level two course um, developed her Instagram and um, she gained a job because she was scouting in a magazine writing as a beauty and makeup uh, specialist. Fabulous. So again, there's, there's so many opportunities, isn't there, to really succeed in the industry just by starting, um, just starting off doing um, hair, makeup or beauty. That's great, thank you. Um, obviously, we're, we are in the, the middle of a pandemic at the moment and we're, we're hoping to come out of it very soon, but we do have um, social distancing rules at the moment um, and upgraded hygiene procedures. And um, so, you know, when you do come to college, then uh, you know that it's, it's very safe to come here. So Laura, do we have the, the video on the, um, the return to college after the COVID? Yes, I've got that one for you. Yeah. Just to show everyone um, just the, the sort of the adaptations that we've made um, since the COVID pandemic.
gonna just quickly switch screens. Bear with me one second. Okay. Can everyone see that all right? Welcome to the London College of Beauty Therapy. The time to start your new course is very near. There's been a few changes since COVID-19, but we want you to have the best experience here. College life doesn't feel the same just now, but this is what the new normal looks like today. We want to make sure that you are safe, so please listen carefully to what we say. First, you'll need to queue outside. Social distancing is the key to keeping COVID away. Keep a safe distance apart from everyone else and please stand behind the markers on the pathway. Once you come in, use some hand sanitizer to keep your hands nice and clean. Our friendly team will take your temperature and ask you some questions about how you've been. We'll ask you if you have a new persistent cough and if you've lost your sense of smell or taste. Don't forget to read your learner agreement before you arrive or you may find yourself reading this in haste. If you need a mask or gloves, don't forget to ask and give your name and show your ID pass. Make sure you have your pen and tools, then you're good to go to start your class. No lifts for students, please take the stairs and you must keep left and please take care. If you can't take the stairs, that's okay. Just let us know so we can prepare. Please don't bring valuables or large items into college, as during this time, the lockers are out of use. Water fountains and vending machines are also out, so remember to pack your lunch and bottle of juice. Only one person will be allowed in each toilet block. Please keep a safe distance when you are queuing. Wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water, and make sure this is something you keep on doing. Your teacher will guide you to your workstation. Your products will be ready for you and disinfected. Gloves and masks need to be worn before you treat your clients. At the end of your day, full sanitization of your area is expected. We hope you feel reassured and as prepared as you can be. The next time we see you will be your first day at LTPT. Okay, thank you. So we've got some more um, questions that are coming up. Um, so one of the questions is what happens if you're over 90? Because obviously we talked a lot about 16 to 18s um, and school leavers. So if you are um, over 19, then we have um, the adult learner loan, which means that you, um, you apply for it on the government website and um, you don't start paying until you earn £25,000 a year. Um, so that's for some people, you know, you can build up to that. Um, and it comes straight out of your national insurance. So it's not like a loan as in when you pay it back, it just comes out of your wages when you earn that much money. Um, so that'll be for all our um, level three, we have level two and three combined courses, the iTech. Um, and we also have level two and three combined hair and media courses. So if you are over 19, you can join those courses and um, get the adult learner loan. And the great thing about those courses actually is they're the same amount of time as if you did the level two and three, um, just eight months, and then you're qualified to go out and work in the industry. So there are some slightly different units if you did them separately. Um, but you know, you will get um, trained up to a level three beauty therapist or makeup artist. Um, I have another question. So what are the benefits of studying in a London college as opposed to studying locally? Uh, well, the benefits of coming into London is you're getting all the opportunities. We've got all the theatres, um, all the, um, the top brands, head offices um, that, are, that are in London. Um, you know, all the, all the main um, sort of events and, and jobs are here. But also you're um, coming to a specialist vocational college. So everybody is at the same, same mindset. Everybody's passionate about beauty. Um, so I would say they're the main benefits. Would anybody like to, else to, like to expand on that and let us know the benefits of coming to London? Hi Sophie, I would just add that um, so many of the brands are HQ'd in central London. So, you know, if you're in the college on any given day, um, you will see all sorts of people who are using LCBT as a base. They might be doing interviews here for, for the central London stores um, or they might be popping in to do industry talks. Um, I think being so centrally London located means that we're very accessible to all of the employers um, who come in and work with us on, an, on, any, given, on any given day. So I, th I think that's, that's also one of the exciting things and also being around all of the opportunities that there are for employment. Um, you know, if you're looking to work part-time as well alongside your studies. 
Great, thank you. Uh, it's, 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 it's some more questions coming through, but I believe um, Brian, our funding director and head of safeguarding Elaine is, is answering them um, on the chat. Can't see any more that have come through. Um, one thing that'd be uh, great to address, address Sophie is just what happens next. So if people have liked what they've sort of seen today and are interested in studying at the college, what are the next steps that they have to take to apply for, for a course? Absolutely, yeah. So if um, if you if you already come to LCBT or if you like the um, if you already researched into it, you might know somebody that's already attended here um, and had a really good experience. So um, if you want to um, join the college, definitely we've got um, our friendly teams that you can call up on reception. Um, so we have Tasha and Alex, so you can speak to them direct and ask them questions about the course um, and the next step really is to then go on to your application day. So once you've asked all the questions that you need and you know which course you'd like to go on, obviously we can help you um, decide which course as well. So if you've got any questions about which kind of direction you're, you want your career to head. So the next stage would be an application day. So at the moment we're doing them remotely. Um, so you don't need to come into the college, it's for social distancing. So you would um, fill out an application form and you need to um, send that over to us digitally um, with your um, with your ID, um, GCSE certificates, um, or your predicted grades, um, if you haven't got your results yet. Um, once you've got all those through, our central admissions team, who we saw today, um, lovely Dora and Fatma, they will interview you. Um, if you have any um, additional learning support needs um, or any medical needs, then that's absolutely fine. We have the people there to interview um, and discuss that with you about that as well. Then once you've got an offer for your course, um, you can pay a deposit for your kit and materials. Um, and then we give you your course date and then you're ready to start. Um, so the next step really is to either phone up our reception, who's on our, our website or email info at, um, or you can just go straight onto our website, onto the link and say apply now, and then you'll fill out your details and that will come through to our customer service. So the best thing is to head to the website. Um, are you able to confirm just what the website address is actually as well? Yeah, so it's www lcbt.co.uk uh, well you can go onto instagram actually as well and there's um the address in the bio so you're on the bio you just click onto our link to our website so you can do it that way as well right okay fantastic so i think so if anyone else has any more questions um, that's watching this today then yeah to head to the website there's that phone number which you'll be able to find um and you'll be able to contact the college and ask any more questions that you might have uh, about choosing to study there um but i think that's is that is there anything else you'd like to cover today i think that's everything is, is anybody else like to add um anything about um about the college or the courses no? brilliant okay, okay. Well, thank you so much thank you everyone for joining as well i'll, I'll stop that now but um like i said you head to the website and uh Absolutely, I hope to, hope to see you at the college soon. Thanks very much.